Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Hypercraft Season 7 with me, False Symmetry. Still wearing the crown, of course, because why on earth not? I probably am going to be losing the crown pretty soon. I'm going to be taking it off, getting my goggles back. I do, I do kind of miss them. They're very handy when working on projects. You know, you don't want to get, you know, flying debris in your eyes. You know, you wear your goggles, safety goggles. You know, it's, it's very handy. Anyway, I'm over here right now because I am just finishing up this. Uh, I'm actually placing some carpets just on, well, on currently every bit of dark grey concrete that is visible. Because, of course, I have decided that this is meant to be cyberpunk. And for some reason, at night, it's not really looking that great uh, when the lighting is coming from everywhere. Like, you can see we've lit this up for mob spawning, but of course... That's just making the whole thing glow up like a Christmas tree. And we want it to look very spectacular. So I've actually started adding some adverts there and here. And of course, as you can see, especially clearly on this one, we've added some end rods behind to make that sort of fluorescent light effect. Which, as you can hopefully see, other than the beacon, of course, the beacon's helping as well. It gives it a really nice glow. That one there as well, and this one here, of course, too. It really makes the glass pop. It really just feels like it lights up the whole of the glass. It probably helps that we're using white, and uh, I really, really like that. So a little bit later on in today's episode, when we work on this a little bit more, because I'm going to be adding something up here on the very, very tallest tower that I'm planning on building in the city... Um, but for now, we're actually heading over to the shopping district for a little game of Decked Out. So we are here and the security is here too. Look at these guys. <laughs> you do not want to go anywhere near them. Although, if that skeleton keeps getting hit by the thorns on my armor, it's probably... Ow, wait. It hit my co my... Oh, wait. No, what did it... Hello? Where is that arrow? Oh, in my neck. Wow. That wasn't... That wasn't cool. <laughs> Dang, dude. I was gonna say he hit my crown, but no, we're all good, guys. The crown is safe. That means uh, we are good, but... Uh... Oh! You know what? This thing looks like it is closed for maintenance, so... Uh... GG. Also, Green is, um... Is he AFKing at the bottom? I'm not sure, but his head is currently on, uh... Backwards, so... Good, good stuff. I'll, uh, <laughs> leave him there doing that, I guess. But the other day on stream, I did in fact get another win. And I believe I picked up the shiny rare set. We've got uh, the wither set as well. And I think the other one I got was the nether set, which we currently have two for. So we have two nether and we currently have two wither. They are uncommon and common and rare and common. So it's not great. And I have a singular one from the witch, the shiny and the end set. So I feel like some trading is going to have to happen. If I get one, two, three, four more, I'm only going to have one slot left on here. So I think I want to start maybe doing some trading. But as I can tell, I can't play this today or this episode. So uh, I guess we'll have to play twice next episode. So uh, look forward to that, guys. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. Also, I did get a message from Tango saying that I won the silent auction. Yes, I put in some emeralds. I'm actually not going to say how many, uh, but I believe uh, we won the Soul Seeker 3 book, which, as you might be able to see in my decked out shulker box, is our first of the tier 3 books. We have Resistance 1. Stealth 1 and Soul Seeker 3, which I'm very excited. Soul Seeker, I believe, is the one where you punch out the soul flames in there. And, well, that was actually the one I really, really wanted. So I'm very, very glad that he put it up on the silent auction. And, uh, well, as you can see, there isn't one for an auction today. So uh, no more bidding for me. So it would be a little bit of a shame to go back to my base without having bought anything or having done anything basically coming over here so i heard that there was something good in the barge i'm going to assume it's these guys it's like a deal or something mystery boxes now 50 diamonds per box dang 55 diamonds what's inside is a mystery do not look before buying have people bought them three people have bought them i guess yeah one two three um I guess we could buy one of these. <laughs> Am I going to just lose 55 diamonds and be really sad? Probably. I did get 55 out, though, of my uh, 
my gem box there, but um, I don't know. Which one shall we pick? I'm thinking this one with the parrot, but I'm sort of also thinking that that could be bad. But you know what? Let's pay. <laughs> and uh, let me think about this. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go with the one I said. Um, I don't know what this is. It's called a Wowie Ultra Smashing Box. What's in it, though? Dang! Okay! <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, there's some stuff in here. Interesting. I've even got five diamonds back, so it only cost me 50 diamonds. Plus emeralds and gold, which are always handy. A sparrow lighter, which is already enchanted, which is nice. There is netherite, which is cool, I guess. I am going to make netherite armor at some point, um, if I'm ever needed for needing it for PvP-related things. Quartz, eh, not too bad. I do actually need some of those. There's some redstone stuff, which, uh, eh. Um, and you know what? I mean, 50 diamonds for that still overpriced but you know what i don't think i got a bad one i've got a feeling some of them aren't as good as that and i would actually wonder how good that one is compared to the others so if you guys have seen other people get them let me know what stuff they got in the comments because i would actually be really interested and uh wait what is what is um is this a red cactus what is this oh um it is a cactus i i see <laughs> okay then i guess uh we're moving on so back at the base now and i think first things first i'm gonna i think continue this up this is what i mentioned last episode when i worked on this that this little tower section here that doesn't go up very far right now i wanted to go up pretty high probably around what level are we at about here about level 90 in height so just above the sort of outer wall and then i want to stick something i think on top of it i'm also thinking i want to start adding some sort of vehicles in this now i wasn't really going to go down the space route but i was thinking how cool would it be if one of these sort of uh i guess walkways uh was actually a platform um for a, a spaceship i think a rocket of some kind uh there's nothing telling me that i can't make lots of different kinds of vehicles i want to of course do some sort of boats uh i do of course sort of want to do some sort of someone said flying cars they could be kind of cool too i'm not really good at building vehicles in minecraft so i don't know i'll have to think about it but i'm thinking if we make that big really really big we'll then see what we can add onto it Okay, so I just like to change things up a little bit and add a new block to the color palette. And, um, what do you guys think? I quite like it. I think it really pops. But let me quickly take a fly while it is nighttime, of course. And I think we should look at it from this way because, of course, this side is much more complete. And I think... It contrasts quite nicely. I think it just adds that glow that that tower will need to stand out at night. Oh, it looks really cool from the front because you can see them through the glass we've added. Very, very nice indeed. I like that quite a lot. I'm hoping that it can look more balanced once I start adding a couple more taller things around here because right now, of course, it is the biggest thing in like, well, not compared to the cyan stuff, but compared to the orange stuff yeah uh anyway i better go sleep real quick uh and then uh finish this thing up and then we get to start adding the more fun parts you know what getting to the very top and having completed it all it really makes me think how good is this view right here of everything you see pretty much all of the towers there's one hidden back there but you see pretty much the whole of my base here and it's very very central and i you know what i'm thinking let's make this a observation tower i mean making an elevator up is going to be difficult although i think i'm probably going to use water just have two little uh water elevators in here one up one down and that'll work nicely uh it will also look quite cool from the outside and i think yeah you know what let's do that and uh we'll see how it looks The view in 
in here might be pretty great as soon as I add the flooring on this level here. But, um, well, it doesn't currently look the best from outside. It looks a little bit like... Hmm. I actually don't know what it looks like. <laughs> Just looks a little bit odd, I guess, uh, is what I'm going with. Uh... I don't know if I need to add like a roof to it. I, I, you know what? I'm going to leave it as is for now. As we build around this area, if we come up with a better idea than that, then we'll go with it. And you know what? I shouldn't be too shy to, uh, I guess, build things and then tweak them afterwards. So you know what? You can stay as you are for now. Uh, and uh, while I've been building that, oh, there's an element inside. See, he's checking it out. He loves it in there. He's, he's having a great time. That does remind me that I need to uh, light it up. Saying that, does he... If I look at him through the glass, he can't actually tell I'm looking at him. Okay, similar to Gus then, I guess. But while I was working up there, I noticed that I didn't ever do anything with this gap in this building. And I'm thinking, let's zigzag this forward, left, and then right into the side of that. And then that might be the right height, because I don't want it to be too high, for the spaceship platform... So uh, I guess I'm going to build one of these. You've seen me build one of them before. Uh, <laughs> I won't show you again. Uh, and we'll see what that looks like. Because it might make this thing look that bit more stable. So I have built a little platform. Just finishing up some touches that might look okay. I don't really know. Also, my inventory is so full right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've got so many different resources on me today. Um, but we are all good. Because I, I should have enough to at least finish today. Which is nice. Because... Uh, Fun fact, uh, sometimes I have to literally mid-episode go and collect resources again. But let's take a look at how this looks. Ooh, I like that actually quite a lot. So I've built this side and then I just went straight through because it just made more sense to me for some reason. I quite like these stripes here that I just added. Although maybe I'll just keep one. Maybe I'll keep the second one too. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, this is the little platform. I thought it'd be really cool to have something balance this tower out, but also not be a building. Uh, so hence the, the spaceship, which I'm going to, I think, build now. So uh, I guess let's go ahead and build a spaceship. have it the brand new rocket let's have a look at it from over here shall we wow i kind of like that you know and it ugh, it does have an eye on it which does make me think a little bit of impulse but i'm also thinking that i should stand for like information you know how you have like an information kiosk like it could be an information rocket it's going up into the space to get information <laughs> this sounds so dumb now i've said it out loud but yeah i don't know anyway uh Different designs can totally be uh, suggested down below, I guess. Uh, maybe not an eye, maybe something else. Maybe we could uh, do uh, dots and dashes uh, to say something on it or something. I don't I don't know, really. Uh, there isn't really much room there to do anything. I guess uh, maybe whatever. I don't know what F is. The letter F is in uh, Morse code. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. We could totally put F for like false on there or something. I don't really know. Uh, yeah, I think we're fine with that right now. And also another little touch I made, completely uh, separate from that, is that these pathways, I might as well land on this one, I've actually changed to a half slab, a, a, a lower half slab specifically, because I want to be able to keep these dark. I don't think that these should be an area lit up. I think that the buildings themselves shouldn't be lit up, should be dark. I think windows should be bright, ads should be bright, and the, the sort of pathway should also be dark. So this way we should hopefully not have any spawns. I don't think anything can spawn on these blocks here. Uh, so hopefully this will work for trying to mob proof the area as much as possible. But to be honest, it's not ever going to be 100% with uh, areas like this, is it? <laughs> So I guess there's nothing else to really do with this stuff right now. I haven't got any other ideas for buildings right this second, but I do have the idea that I mentioned earlier about making a water column 
up and down. So one of these can be up, one of these can be down. And I think, to be honest, I could do it the other way where I have one here and one here because it's odd this way and even this way. So it has to be too wide or could have one wide. But I think that that's going to affect the weight in and out and also probably these blocks as well if you wanted to hide those for whatever reason. Um, yeah, but I think that that would cause issues would it though if i had one going through here instead of those two you know i kind of like those they sort of mirror the uh red sandstone here and look quite funky um and then of course down below i will of course make sure that they ow 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 there's mobs down here um <laughs> in fact there's three skeletons shooting me okay that is not good but anyway, I should probably uh, make that safe down there. And um, but before we do that, I guess I need to probably put these surrounded, like make these surrounded by blocks. I think I'm going to use glass, I think. Because then, of course, I can add the kelp, make them full water source blocks all the way up. And then, of course, add the bubble columns, which we all know and love at this point in the game. <laughs> and uh, hopefully it'll work. So... I'll give that a shot. If we don't like it, we can go with a different route. But for now, I think that is going to be the way to go. Oh my goodness. I was not recording, but why on earth would there be a creeper on top of that? That's a light block. How are you there? Like, actually, how are you there? Like, for real? Like, how are you going to explode? I'm really worried about him exploding and then ruining everything. No, no, no. Yeah, you, you fall to your death. What the heck? Is it really dark here? Oh, yeah, you know what? It probably is dark up here. Okay, my bad. Oh, dearie me. Um, mistakes were made. <laughs> I don't want to go down there. That looks terrifying. Right, well, that looks uh, absolutely no different because uh, the thing I've done is actually inside it and it's hard to see from the outside. But um, fun fact, I'm getting that weird glitch where the water goes invisible. But I do like how it looks. I haven't added the water columns, the bubble columns yet. But I do have it so you can get in and out. I could, I could even leave it that speed. Going down is fine. Going up is slow, though. Look how slow going up is, but like, compared to going down. Going down is fast. You just shift and you just go down fast. Why is it all the same speed? I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to leave it there, guys, because uh, my internet may or may not have cut out mid-episode today and left with me with uh, way less time to record it. So, um sad face because i have some more plans but what we'll do is we'll save them for another time and we'll finish off this place probably off camera here and there and of course start new buildings and stuff in the future i'm very very happy with it guys let me know what you think down below of this area let me know what you'd love to see in this area it's starting to look a little bit more full and busy which is what i want it to look like i'm really loving how these sort of zigzag areas are looking i'm sort of thinking maybe i should make these less curved and make them more rectangular but i don't really know uh i guess i'm going to experiment as i go but guys thank you so much for watching leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys all in the next episode see ya when stanley approached the end of the video he clicked the subscribe button